Today, I'm gonna to be comparing the Apple Watch SE versus the Apple Watch Series 7. While the Series 7 is of course newer and has more features, compared to the Apple Watch SE, it also comes in at a significantly higher price. So in this video, I'm gonna be comparing the two from a value perspective, looking at how much Apple Watch you get for your dollar. To find out, I will compare the four areas that I believe matter most in a smartwatch, from display, battery, performance, to features, to help you decide which model is right for you. As always, I will leave all the purchase links down in the description. Let's get started. Okay, so to start, let's compare the different prices as well as the buying options. So starting with the Apple Watch SE, this comes in at $279 and comes in the aluminum watch case uh, as well as a GPS and cellular version. Now the Apple Watch Series 7 on the other hand comes in at $399 and not only does it come in the uh, aluminum case, it also comes in a stainless steel as well as a titanium case option. And in terms of connectivity, we also get a GPS plus cellular version here. In terms of the display, the Apple Watch SE comes with an OLED display and that will come in two different sizes. So we have the 40 millimeter version that I have here and then also a slightly larger 44 millimeter version. On the other hand, the Apple Watch Series 7 also comes with an OLED display. However, the big difference is that this display is always on and you'll find that this is actually one of the biggest differentiating factors when it comes to the two models. Now the Apple Watch Series 7 also comes in with a slightly larger display. So instead of the 40 millimeter version, we have a 41 millimeter version that I have here. What these two excellent displays have in common is that they are both bright enough to see in all lighting conditions. And both screens are also clear, high resolution and very detail rich, meaning even things like finer text are quite easy to read. And since both also use OLED, this means there is very high contrast between the lighter as well as the darker parts of the screen, making images really pop. Now, what is interesting is that both models actually have a very similar size watch case, as you can see. However, the Series 7 does have 20% more screen area. And this makes a noticeable difference in everything that you do. Content is not only more readable, but you can also see more content at a time. For example, more lines of text, uh, more roads on a map, etc. And this is thanks to the thinner bezels on the Series 7. In addition to this, the Series 7 has this nice tapering effect going across all edges of the display, where content kind of flows off the screen as you're scrolling through it. This is a nice touch. Don't get me wrong, the SE's display is great, but display is one of the key areas where the Series 7 is a step up in every way. And then crucially, the Series 7 does have that always on display. Now, this is something that I actually appreciate and enjoy more than I thought I would. Not only is this functional, letting you check the time in a subtle way without having to turn your wrist, it also just looks better to have the watch face on the display at all times, rather than a black square. And this, I think, Think is really a compelling reason to go for the Series 7 over the SE. However, regardless of whether you go for the SE or Series 7, do make sure that you get a screen protector, as unfortunately both are prone to scratching during normal daily use. I've done a separate video in which I compare the best screen protector options, which I will leave linked below, alongside a playlist with all of my other Apple Watch videos. If you are enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks for your support. Now let's talk battery. Apple rates both the SE as well as the Series 7 to have 18 hours of battery life. The only big difference here is that the Series 7 is able to charge 33% faster through the faster charger that is included in the box. When it comes to battery performance, how you set up your watch is key. Now I have done a separate Apple Watch Ultimate Guide video, which will show you exactly how I set up my watch to get the most out of battery life as well as features. But to give you an idea, notifications, background app refresh, as well as Siri, all have a significant impact on your battery performance. With my setup, both models can get me through a full day with around 30% remaining. And this is especially impressive considering the always on display that's featured on the Series 7. So there is no need to worry about battery, as in the real world, battery life is pretty much the same between the two. But what about performance? 
First, the Apple Watch SE keeps up well, scrolling through text and apps, uh, as well as opening and closing menus. It can stutter, but does so only occasionally when switching between apps. Apps do take a bit longer to load, but for reference, the SE is still significantly faster compared to the previous Series 3. But what about the Series 7? Well, despite the fact that the Apple Watch SE keeps up well, the Series 7 is still noticeably faster. There is basically no stutter or lag in everything that you do. Apps launch quickly and also stay open for long. So when it comes to performance, the Apple Watch SE is by no means slow and keeps up well. On the other hand though, the Apple Watch Series 7 is still significantly faster. And this is something that you do notice, especially when comparing the two side by side. It is important to also consider that the newer processor on the Series 7 will receive software updates for, I would say, the next four to five years. So it will last one to two years longer compared to the SE. Still, on its own, performance is just not enough reason to go for the Series 7 over the SE. But what about features? When it comes to the Apple Watch, Apple sets the bar high, and the Apple Watch SE has all the key smartwatch features, plus a few extras. You can receive and read notifications, track workouts, uh, get your heart rate measurements, fall detection, maps, Siri, and much more. And then the Series 7 takes all of those features and adds that larger always-on display, the ability to take ECG readings, as well as a blood oxygen sensor, and even more. As you can see, the Series 7 really adds a lot in the health department. Now, for me personally, this is a nice to have, but not an essential set of features. However, if you do have a very active lifestyle, you may see this differently. What I can say is that during normal day-to-day -day use, I don't use my Series 7 very differently from my SE. That said, the biggest difference between the two, for me, lies in the display. Having the thinner bezels and the larger display on the Series 7 is great, but what really makes a difference is that always on display. Seeing your watch face at all times may sound simple, but I can honestly tell you that this is something I do really miss on the SE. So, with all of that said, let's go back to the first question. Which model provides the better value option? Here's how I see it. If you are new to the Apple Watch, the Apple Watch SE is a fantastic place to start. Packing all of the essential Apple Watch features in a sleek, good looking design that can easily last for the next two to three years and all for a very compelling price. And this is what makes it for me the best value Apple Watch. On the other hand, the Series 7 truly has it all and the competition even from other brands don't even come close. If you are already an Apple Watch user, whether it be on the Series 3 or Series 4, or simply want the latest and greatest and don't mind paying for that, then you can be assured that for the extra money, the Series 7 does offer some great additional features, from health to the always-on display. Let me know if you have any questions. If you are interested, I will leave all the purchase links down in the description. If you haven't seen them yet, I've also done full separate reviews on both the SE as well as the Series 7 to learn even more. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.